Yo guys, it's JJ here, and welcome to the third episode of how to make a game inventory system in Unity 5. So, in the last episode, we got the item to move with the mouse. So we can pick it up, it'll move with the mouse, we can drop it, it'll go back to the slot. So we got that. But, when we have more than one slot, just delete this, we have more than one slot, it won't go into the slot. We can't dra uh, drag and drop it into the slot. We haven't added that yet. So when we try and drag it over, it won't. And when we let go, it won't it won't drop in. Also, it goes behind the object that we see. It goes behind the slot. So we want to fix those couple of bugs today. And also, there's another bug where if you click anywhere, it will pick up the item, which is not cool. So those are the three things we're going to be fixing today. Also, we will just go into the code right away. There's also something I noticed. So we're referencing the inventory controller, yet we're not using the reference. So that means with this reference, we could actually compact this code a whole lot. So we actually don't need this whole chunk right here. And we just type in inventory controller. And that's all set. It's the same thing that it was before but just a little more compact so we can save that we go over here take this all out inventory controller Boop. Let's save this inventory controller and just click save so these are all the same that they were before okay so in the inventory controller what we're going to be doing first is we're actually going to be making it so that um, when you play it, that the item doesn't go behind the slot. We're going to be doing that first. So, in the inventory controller, we're actually going to add another transform. It's going to be called Canvas. Okay. And now over here, we're going to be doing if input dot get mouse button down oh. get mouse button down and the selected item does not equal null okay so we got this so what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be setting the selected item dot set Parent. Make sure you use the set parent here. If you just do parent and then you say parent equals, say like parent equals the canvas, it'll actually throw an error. It may look fine right now, but it'll throw an error that you're using the wrong um, wrong reference here. You can't. It's it's better the, to set the parent then to just say the parent equals this so set parent and parentheses around the campus okay so we set the parent here so now let's see what happens oh let me save that and we go into unity okay so there's an error what's the error okay input keep on down string we have a string why is this? If input get button down zero, that is supposed to be like that. Okay. Oh, get mouse button down. That's why. But get button down. Get mouse button down. There we go. Fix that. Now we go over here. Clear this. Okay. Now let's see what happens. When we pick up the item, you'll notice it goes from the, this, the child of the slot to gone. Okay, so we didn't do something right. So set parent canvas. Okay, I know what we did. So before we play, we need to make sure we have the I, I mean the inventory. Drag the canvas into the canvas transform, and then play. So now, 
we can drag it and it's an item if you see it's right underneath the canvas and if you go over it's being rendered after so it's perfect but then now if we let it go it goes to the center of the canvas so to fix this if you notice when we're dragging it and oh, right over here and select the slot we can't right it doesn't recognize the slots it won't recognize the selected slot because the collider for the item it'll recognize now but the collider for the item is covering the mouse so we can't see anything behind it we can't see any of the colliders behind it so how to fix that is we're actually going to disable the collider so go, go right over here we're just gonna the, can, uh, the selected item that um, get component the get component collider oh. enabled equals false so Select that item that get component collider enabled equals false, which means the item collider it'll disable it. It'll just go like that, basically. So after we release, we're just gonna copy this. After we release, we're gonna re-enable it. True. Okay, just save that. Now, when we play it, and we're in the inventory, look at the selected slot. We can recognize the slots behind it, so that's perfect. So, how do we make it equal to the selected slot? Well, we'll do that. We'll just type in right over here the selected okay so if the selected slot is equal to null if there's no select slot we'll do this else do this okay so I'll do that so we're going to be in else statement. So else the selected item that set parent to the selected slot. So if the selected slot equals null, what we're going to do is we're actually going to set it to the original slot. So how do we get the original slot? The original not the original slot is actually currently nothing. It is nothing. So how do we set the original slot to what the item was before? Well, what we'll have to do is we'll go right into the get the get mouse button down, and we'll go before we set the parent. Make sure it's before we set the parent to the canvas that we. Set the item, I mean, set the, the original slot to the selected item that parent. So we're setting it to the parent. So we don't want it to be the canvas. We don't want the, this original slot to equal the canvas. We want it to be whatever slot it was before the canvas. So we'll do that. Then down here, before the else, we're going to set the original, the selected item. Set parent, oh, set parent to the original. Come on, ah, original slot. Okay. Now let's see what happens. We'll go over here, hit play, and so now we pick up the item. It goes out of the slot. We can see it. 
goes above it, we let go, goes back to the original slot. So now if we go with this slot, and we let go, it goes to that slot. Back, forth, back, forth. We still have this picking up wherever. So we fixed two of the problems. And also, when we drag it, and we hover over, and we go way over, and then let go, it still goes back to the original slot, which is good. That's good. We want that. So, we got this working perfectly fine. Great. Okay. So now let's fix that problem where the mouse, you can pick it from, up from anywhere. So, this is where we're going to be using the can grab function, or the can grab boolean. So, right up in the mouse button down, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make can grab equal true. And so the can grab equal, equals true. Now, down here, we're going to also put if that and can grab. So when you put it like this, you could also do can grab equals true. But we don't need that. If you just put can grab, it's going to assume it means can grab equals true. If you do this, if you do the not, that means can grab if can grab equals false. So you don't have, in other words, you don't have to add those other, the extra, the extra words, which just takes up space. So this, this, this makes it more compact, more readable. I mean, the other way is probably more readable, but this you can read just as, just as well. So, and can grab. Then down here, at the end, we're actually going to make can grab equal false. So let's see what happens. Nothing's going to happen, actually. It's going to be the same exact way. Because, because we didn't ha add it to the item. So we save this. Actually, we never saved it. Go back. Show you again. Nothing changed. Okay. And now we actually need to go to the item. So this is where we do the on mouse exit. So we're going to do an if statement. If the oh, the inventory actually if not so inventory dot inventory controller inventory controller dot can grab then if it if it doesn't equal true or if it if it equals true yeah this is what if it if it equals true if we can grab it then we're gonna e we're gonna make this actually we can't grab it if we can grab it this won't work if we can't grab it then this will run. So if we can't grab it, we're gonna make this no. Alright, and no. So let's see what happens. Save that, go back into new Unity, and play. So if we go all here, it still does it for some reason. Okay, I know why. So when we go back here, this on mouse exit, it'll work some of the time. But after, sometimes it'll get in a stuck phase where it will always be true. So to fix that, we actually need to go down here at the end and make the selected no, selected item equal null. So after we let go and after everything gets zero it out, we'll make the selected item equal nothing. Now let's see what happens. Okay, if you notice over here it says the select item equals null, nothing. Now if we drag it, let it go, it still equals nothing. See? So we fixed two of those bugs. Actually, three of those things. Alright. See you guys in the next episode.